Hello, this is Noah, and welcome back to DigiKey's Another Geek Moment Summer Break Edition. I want to thank Nordeast Makers and Tech Shop and Chandler for helping us make our projects. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how I tricked out this longboard. Now, if you don't know, on at least college campuses, and specifically my college, uh, th there are so many people that choose longboarding as their mode of transportation. And that happened to include me. Now, however, I wanted my board to stand out from the rest. And what I did to do that was uh, adopt a awesome project from Adafruit. This particular project uses two boards. It uses their Trinket board as well as their PowerBoost 500C. So to talk a little bit about the 500C, it is a board that switches from the 3.7 volt battery I have in here to a 5 volt circuit and it also has an integrated charging circuit as you can see I'm charging it right here. The second board it has in it is a Trinket. Now Trinket is one of the least expensive boards that are Arduino capable and hackable. So I use that to uh, control the LEDs on the board. So there's actually a lot of 3D printed parts for this project. One of them being the enclosure, the enclosure mount, the NeoPixel ring enclosure and the caps for those NeoPixel rings as well as the mount for that enclosure are all 3D printed and I really want to thank Tech Shop and Chandler for allowing us to use their 3D printers for this project. Now the first step in doing uh, this project I would recommend uh, soldering the connections for the LED rings. First sleeve your cables as well as heat shrink them at the end. Now this will ensure that your cables are not only protected, but they also look a lot cleaner. So the next thing I would recommend you do is actually connect this uh, ring enclosure to the mount that it has here. And that will allow you to at least get something concrete done be in the beginning. The next part is obviously uh, soldering from the ring to the first strip. And then from there, you would want to solder to the next strip, or depending on how many strips you have, solder straight to the board, it does not matter. So I wanted to spend a little bit more time talking to you about Adafruit's NeoPixels. These are absolutely wonderful components, and once you spend a little bit of time with them, you will find that they are really intuitive to implement. So here I have a reel, and I have a ring. Now the reels and the strips come in different lengths, as well as different colors, and 3M implementations are available if you need that and the rings actually come in different diameters as well. I wanted to show you up close how easy it is to daisy chain these LEDs. There's literally only three connections you need to connect to each individual strip or ring that you are connecting. You have the, your ground, your data in and out, as well as your VCC. Now there are lots of examples and tutorials as well as great forum posts to help you get your NeoPixels firing the way you want. And by doing a little research on the forms, I was able to modify my code accordingly and get the desired result I wanted. Now that we have our circuit working, let's go and put it on our skateboard. Now, what's cool about this project is that it is completely customizable to what your board has. So for instance, I took the regular 30 LED strip and cut it down into two parts. And I was able to solder those parts together. So you could do the same. You could also change the way you mount to the truck, for instance, since this is a a different kind of truck than the one that they used, I kind of chopped off half the mount and just uh, 3M taped it to the board. Also, 3M tape is a huge part of this product as well. I would definitely recommend you go pick up some of that. So once you solder to the trinket, now you can start actually putting things together. Obviously, solder the battery connections from the 500C to the JST connector on the trinket. Also, another thing I would recommend is because the battery is on top in the enclosure, you're going to want to put some kind of cardboard in between the battery just because you're screwing straight into the enclosure and it could potentially hit that LiPo battery. So that is a big safety concern. You do not want to be screwing into a LiPo battery. And then to code the trinket, all you need is your Arduino IDE, which you can download from the Arduino website, as well as the code from maker.io. So we have a green light in our enclosure, which means we're all charged up. Now let's demo the board and see how it looks. Wow, that looks awesome. Thank you for watching the video, and now I'm gonna have to go and find Grace so we can have a go. If you haven't checked out Grace's video on the bike light, then 
please go and check that out as well. All right, let's ride. All right, let's get to it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.